Hello everyone, my name is Rahim Khan and I'm a software engineer at Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to provision TLS secure Kibana instance using QT. At first, we are going to see what's Elasticsearch dashboard. Elasticsearch dashboard is a custom resource that helps to search, monitor, analyze, and visualize index data using Kibana in a Kubernetes native way. It reduces the difficulties of configuring and managing Kibana. Basically, what it does it is it allows us to not think about lots of configuration settings, compatible Elasticsearch version, TLS certificates to ensure secure connectivity with Elasticsearch and other stuff like that. QDB operator will do all of this for you. So Elasticsearch dashboard provides operator generated default configuration for Kibana. It ensures secret connectivity with Elasticsearch and Kibana. Elasticsearch dashboard provides TLS support so that we can provide we can uh, establish secret connection with Kibana server. It also maintains a continuously running health checker to ensure dashboard instance is running smoothly. And with custom configuration support, we can provide as much configuration settings you want to provide. Okay. So let's go to our workstation. In our workstation, as you can see, we have already de uh, deployed a Elasticsearch topology cluster here, which is named ES topology. Its version is Elasticsearch version 7.14.0, and it's in release state. Okay. Uh, we are using one expression client version 1.22.4 and server version 1.22.7 and as you can see all the QDB ports are running so this port this dashboard port this is going to be used for provisioning and managing Elasticsearch dashboard so let's see a sample YML for Elasticsearch dashboard which is there Okay, as you can see, like any other Kubernetes resource, an Elasticsearch dashboard YML have API version, kind, meta, and spec field. The API version, you can see that the API version is dashboard.kibdb.com slash v1 alpha 1. The kind is Elasticsearch dashboard. The meta data section, you, have, you can see that we have named our Elasticsearch dashboard instance to ES topology dashboard. It is in namespace demo where it is going to be deployed. The namespace must be with the same namespace where Elasticsearch instance is deployed in. The spec section we recommend enabling as an enable SSL to true so that uh, it will enable TLS at your HTTP layer. In the database reference section we are providing the Elasticsearch instance name which is in this case ES topology as we have already seen. The termination policy we have set to wipe up. You can also set do not terminate it if you want to uh, stop deleting your instance from accidental deletion. Okay, so let's go to our workstation and apply this one. Okay. As you can see, our realistic search dashboard is in provisioning status. Okay. Valid provision, now it's not ready set. Some internal resources of Kibana server are getting ready. So it will take a while. Uh, when we have applied the YML, you can see that it has also created a client service, which is named after the instance itself. It has also deployed a deployment and the deployment has created the port. The port is already running, as you can see. It has also created some necessary secrets here. You can see. Uh, it has created two TLS secrets and one secret for configuration settings. Okay. Now, in order to access our Kibana server, what we are going to do is we're going to expose this client service. 
Let's see. So we exposed the client service from our local machine. Okay. Now, as you can see, our Elasticsearch dashboard instance is ready. Now, we're going to go to our browser and get into Kiba. So we're going to hit HTTPS local host and uh, host port. Okay, nice. So we have used self signed certificate and it is contrasted in our local browser. That's why it is warning is being shown. We're going to proceed anyway. We're expecting a logging screen. For Kibana. As you can see, logging screen has appeared. The username section, it is asking for the Elasticsearch admin user and its password. So, in our session, as you can see in our previous video, we have shown that when we have deployed our Elasticsearch instance, it has also created a admin credential secret. And we're going to get the admin credentials from this secret. See, our username is Elastic and our password is this. So we're going to use this to log into Kibana. And to paste this password in the username, we're going to type Elastic. And now we're going to log into our Kibana server. So it is, as you can do, you can see that you can use dev tools, you can add data from here, you can use all the functionalities of Kibana from this home page, and upload file, and do other stuff like that. You can create index lifecycle policies and many, many other things. So we're going to add some data into our Elasticsearch through Kibana sample data as you can see you can just click add data and some sample commerce orders or flight data or sample web logs will be uh, inserted to elastic search as you can see well you have we have already added some sample web logs you can see the logs from analytics to discover we're expecting the logs to appear here so there they are Okay, going to close this now first. Okay, so if you want to see the documents in full view, just click in one click, you will get to see the expanded documents both in tabular form or in JSON form. So, want it. So, yeah, so you can just change the timelines from here. And if we just click it, seven weeks. Okay, we're going to find all the logs from seven weeks uh, from seven weeks ago to now. To update it, As you can see it will be changed with the updated data. Here it is. Okay. As for other functionalities, if you want to see this machine OS field as you can see when you click it it will pop up a visualization window if you click it so here it is so from here you can see the values of machine OS is in the lower bar and in the sidebar you can see the counts of records in the y-axis it has created a vertical stack plot and below it is suggesting other visualization tools that you can use you can use this donut okay we can apply other 
fields like geo destination you can just click it and drag it and pour it here yeah so you can see that all the destinations and their corresponding operating system uses here uh, okay you can also use this tabular form this stack plot and there are many other functionalities that you can use from kibana okay so that's it that's how you can uh, use kibdb managed elastic dashboard to deploy kibana and you can do it very confident and an easy way thank you thank you for watching